Allah. How do you see your room? It's really nice. You love it? Yes. I fixed it for special ones like you. So feel at home, relax, okay? Thank you so much, Ma. This is beautiful. <laughs> Come here. Nice. Are you in school? I was in school before my weekend uncle told me to go into the streets and start working. So sorry about that. It's fine. Trust me, all will be well. At the right time. I want you to lie down here and relax, okay? While I put something for you to eat. No, I want to go outside. I want to walk around. I want to see the house. It's okay. You're not tired? I oh, know I'm not tired, thank you. Okay, let me show you that. <laughs> Uncle, so you have been here and Grandma died worrying about you. Shh. Listen, I don't know you and you don't know me. Do you understand? But Uncle, I know you. You don't know me now, now you go tell me who I know. I don't know you, you don't know me. You never discuss me with anybody. Are you listening to me? Else I will strangle you to death. With my bare hands. Don't discuss me. Never say you know me. I thought you kill me. Uh -huh. Why am I here? Why are you here? And how did you meet my organ like that? I was at Deichi in this house, and his wife has been making my life miserable. To the extent they asked me to go to the streets and start hawking. Oh. oh wow. Grandma died worrying about you. And I had you carry the money the woman shared during Christmas. That's what I had. Shut up. That topic is older than you. That case senior you. So shut up. Like I said, I don't know you. You don't know me. No discuss me with anybody. But we know each other. Now. I said I don't know you. Now you go tell me say I know you. But me go decide who I know. Why you shouting at her? I don't know you. Why you shouting at her? Who make it better? M Y B, mind your business. Mind your business. I hope he didn't touch you. No, he didn't. Okay. Always stay away from him. He's a bad person. He just run the land, land jump, on your jaw. Stay away from him. Don't ever come here to see him. Enje Gabriel, I'm a bad person, Abi. Holy Mary, good day, ma. Holy Mary, the most. Hey, Angel. The only woman without sin. No, Google kills the idiot. Most useless cook in the world. What are you even cooking? Because we are, we are managing the poison you used to give us here. Yala. Now this girl. This girl, this girl, you are after me. This girl, this girl, this girl, this girl will put me in trouble. I don't know if you will have time to listen to what I'm about to tell you. Come on, said, now what is it? <laughs> See that burn boy? He smokes. You know the other time you asked me if he smokes? I told you I don't know. I even defended him. He smokes. <laughs> so you're just finding out now? <laughs> when I got to his side, it was causing of a... In their hand, I perceived it. I mean, it's most. <laughs> you got to his side. So, how sure are you he's the one smoking? Are there people living there? I am sure. Not talking like this. When I got there, I, even though I didn't catch him red handed, probably he must have thrown it away, where immediately he noticed I was coming. Because this was filled with stench of Indian hemp. I didn't know that one. Before he would be mad and slaughter us in this house. And you know, dear, would you know, dear? But I said, now you just said there is no proof. You didn't see him. That means you're not sure. Yes, there is no proof 
that he was the one smoking. Come to think of it. You know the kind of job he's doing? He's a gate man for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. Yes. That justifies him smoking. He may need to get high to effectively do his job. Why are you talking like this? Why is it that you don't see anything wrong whatever that boy does? Did he pay you to always defend him? Or be on his side? Eh? And said, no. Did you just raise your voice at me? I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. Do it anyway. I'm sorry. business do you have with the main building? Are you talking to me? Of course, yes. But I say you don't get respected. If, if not that you're my niece, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the slap of yourself. Oh, now nah, I'm, I'm now your niece. I thought you said I should treat you like a stranger. So you have no business coming in here to take a drink? I, I, I don't believe you. Your mates are sleeping. Go upstairs and sleep. You're like, who named you? I don't want to sleep. You cannot force me to sleep. Besides, when Oka comes back, I'm going to talk him into his drink. Eh? Mm. That means I will drink your uncle. My uncle? You will hear Oka come today. Okay. Look at the type of hair she's got. The baby celebrity gets man. Ibuba Kariagar. The baby celebrity gets man. Ibuba Mawabia. Spending chop money, celebrity gets money. Did he say anything to you? He did not say anything to me, just that I don't like the way he behaves. I don't like him either. So we both do not like him. Try to avoid him, okay? Yes, he's a very bad man. Why did you say that? Do you know him before? No, it's just that I've seen someone like him in a movie and the person acts very evil and wicked. He's not an actor. He's just a gay man. I got what you're saying. Just don't mind him, okay? Okay. Do you ever want to go back to school someday? Yes, of course. That's always been my prayer to get back to school. Like, I've always been praying because I've missed a lot of classes. Consider that prayers answered. I will ensure you go back to school, at least to secure your future. Oh my God, Auntie, thank you so much. God bless you. You're welcome, darling. Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, darling.
Hmm? I don't please Andrew. Oh, please Andrew, what kind of dream is that? Hmm? It's okay, it's alright. Um, I mean, it's nothing to worry yourself about, okay? Let's get back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to sleep. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, what is what is funny? I mean, why are you making fun? Uh, Allah, please, please stop, stop this. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just like I stop imagining you on a get one outfit. <laughs> you to have seen. I, mean, I wish you could see me. I mean, I was looking so pathetic on that uniform in my own house. Really? I'm telling you. I mean, the one that even got me so bothered was he was seated here. He was sitting on my seat, giving me instructions as my new CEO. That was so funny. Why are you making that thing out of this now? Why are you laughing? So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just that you are. The dream is funny. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this guy. Look, the, the one that really got me bothered was I saw this young man knocking my wife. Your wife? He was making love to my wife! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this, this, your laughter is beginning to, to piss me off. What's all this? Now? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Fred, you are funny. Don't you expect me to cry? It's funny. The truth of the matter is that you are taking this whole thing serious. It's just a dream. Eh? It's just a common dream. Come on, forget about it. Look, I, I, am, I am scared of this guy. Okay, I am I'm scared of him. Don't you think it's... It's high time I sacked him. Okay, no, no, it's high time I sacked him. But do you think he's, he's having an affair with my wife? Do you? Oh, come on. Come on. Can you hear yourself? No, are you not just the dreamer? Because you had a dream that he was your CEO sitting in your office. I was knocking your wife, want to sack your get man. It doesn't make sense now. Eh? Like I said, you don't allow it to, 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 to get on you. It's just a dream. Eh? That you had a dream this guy was knocking your wife. When you woke up, was he on top of your wife? No, did you see him on top of your wife? The answer is no. It's just a mere dream. Okay? <laughs> so, 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 Mark, what you're trying to say is that um, I shouldn't be bothered about the dream? Unless you want to give yourself a headache. You should not bother you. Or do you want to tell me you don't trust your wife? I go tell you the work for you. I make you clean your hand. I go my nose. I go my nose. Yeah, man, okay. 
on t'a pas mis des sous-jeux sur la tête, je me suis mis à terre. I've seen him come into this house to take drinks. And I've also seen him smoking. You mean the gets man? Yes. Oh. Okay. Coming into this house to take drinks. He's an adult. He can come into this house, take drinks, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. My very kind woman. But you're very careless. Um, kind. Yes. Careless. Are you not being disrespectful? I, I didn't mean to say that. Just that you barely know him and you're allowing him to come too close into this family. Ihoma. <sighs> Listen, my dear, this life isn't that hard the way you look at it. No. The reason for curse is lack of care, togetherness and support. We don't care for strangers, forgetting that we may need their help tomorrow. And how would you feel if they treat us as strangers the same way we treat them. Take yourself as an example. If my husband and I didn't take a chance on you, we wouldn't have brought you to our home because you are a stranger. But we reasoned above seeing you as a stranger. That's why we brought you to our home. That is called humility. See, we do not segregate. I mean, we don't set apart. We do not discriminate. We are one family. I want you to learn that. Okay? Okay. So cheer up. Have you eaten? Naira. Where do you expect me to get the money from? You know, see the only way that is. Read and complete. Three million naira only. Uh -uh. Have you don't go to school again? Now only I put it there, so now only. Besides, for your question, I no care where you from bring the money. If you want to go bring the money, beautiful. If you want to go do runs, bring the money. Awesome. What I need is three million naira only. So I don't care how you raise the money. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? You know I didn't come to this house with any money. That means I will open my mouth and tell your husband. In fact, if I see your husband, I will open my mouth. Wah! And when I open my mouth, wah! You will have family problem. Wah! No, no, no. Please don't open your mouth. You will have conscience now. Have conscience. Who conscience help? No, tell me. Who conscience help? Listen, listen real good. Make sure you raise this money. Use your head and know which of your husband's property you will sell. Are you getting me? Because if you fail, oh, I will not only tell your husband that you bed wet, I will put Jara before telling him about the poisoned drink as well. Be careful with me. Please. Ah, hey, and guess who I saw in the guest bedroom? Who? The gate man. Oh, really? Maybe he came to run errands to our, my madam. And so you mean you don't find anything strange in that? Come here, Ihoma. 
You're a little girl. Isn't everything you see in this house we should be talking about? If she doesn't see anything strange in it, so be it. But she doesn't see anything wrong with that. Alright? Go do something for me. Go help me do the dishes. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> To the clan of everybody. Look at this little girl is even beginning to suspect something. Is he right? Ah. hospital I've not been to for treatment. Yet it didn't work. I've lost all my relationships because of the same condition. I had no hope of having my own man. One day Fred's mother visited my village and saw me. She asked me to marry her son. At first I was scared because I know my condition. But my mom encouraged me and asked me to go on with it. But I had to promise her that I'll tell my husband about my condition immediately after the wedding. Till date, I couldn't tell my husband about it because I was scared of losing him. You said you knew the kid, man. Yes. To be was my childhood friend. But we've been enemies, though. I tried a relationship with him, but he backed out when he discovered I was bedwetting. He bullied me all through in the village. One day, Dubem uncle came and took him away. Ever since then, I never set my eyes on Dubem. Get into this house. I saw Dubem working as a kid's man. I tried. I tried everything to get him out of this house. But he treated me. He treated me that he was going to tell my husband the truth. And I know my husband, he, he would definitely call off the marriage and I wasn't ready for it. So tell me, what agreement did you reach with the get man? I made a promise that I was going to be giving him money whenever he asked for it. What? He would stop. He keep pushing me to do things I don't want to do. Oh my God! How I hate that monster boy! Listen, 
This is the time to muster courage and tell your husband everything about this. No, I can't, Antina. I can't. My husband is going to send me away. I can't do it. Is it better to continue to live this lie? Stealing from your husband. I saw how you you plan to sack Akrika. Yes, I did. Because Akrika refused poisoning the babe for me. I'm glad he didn't do it. But I I wanted him out of the house. I wanted him to leave this house as a punishment for disobeying me. You went too far. I know. I could vouch that you are not like this. You are not this bad. I said, no, I'm not like this. I promise. I'm not like this. You are. <laughs> it was the babe that pushed me to no. do this. You were already a bad person. When you conceal this truth from your husband, even before the babe came into the picture. Uh. I'm so disappointed at you. Come on. I said that, please. Please don't tell my husband about this. Please, I beg you. Please. Tell your husband. This is the only way out. I said that my marriage will be over already. Don't you get it? That is the only sure thing. The sureness of it all, trust me. Just that you, you have become so committed to this Deben boy. I've always been seeing you. The way you give him money, be monitoring you. I'd expected you to either open up to me or to your husband. But you decided to conceal this truth. I only had to step up. When I noticed that you were getting into trouble, which you may not be able to come out from it. Antonia. Tell me, how do I do this? How do I handle the babe? Tell your husband. Before it's too late. A stitch in time saves nine. Tell him. <laughs> See what I got you. Diaper! Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Oh, thank you. I'm used to it, but I, I don't want to use it here. Why? Because the urination happens mainly at night. That's the idea. You wear it only at night. Oh, I said, no, no. What if my, my husband wants to have sex with me? Ah, yes, and you know, they, they normally request for sex at night or early in the morning. Oh, my God, no. Nothing has spoiled yet. You wake up in the middle of the night after sex and wear it. Oh, but that's still, when there is no sex, you wear it. Uh, uh, now you have a point too. Okay. You have a point. I'll always help you to dispose of it so that your husband doesn't find out. But if you ask me, I will tell you to tell him more. He deserves to know what you're going through. And uh, said now you're right, but I'm scared. Uh, I don't have the courage to tell him about it. You don't have the courage. You must have the courage. Eh? You must have it. Develop it. Um, oh, okay, I'll try. I'll tell him. Thank you very much. I spoke to that evil kid, man. Dubim. Mm -hmm. What did he tell you? Listen, there is trouble. That lousy cook has found out that I'm the one washing your 
but the wet wrap has all this wine. How? How did she find out? Are you asking me? Have you forgotten how she behaved? No, tell me, why wouldn't I ask you? Uh, if you have if you have taken that up immediately, I gave it to you to wash. She wouldn't have seen it. Okay, I'm blaming you. Why would I blame you? See, this is not time to blame anybody. You must know what to tell her. Else she will tell your husband everything. Oh really? So you want me to just go there and tell her the truth so she can walk straight to my husband and tell him everything. I'm not supposed to handle this thing. She can't meet that woman. I don't say she can talk too much. Yes. Like You're supposed to handle this. You're supposed to handle this. Who is your job? What is your job? You're supposed to handle this and you're here telling me there is trouble. Okay. It's your fault. No problem. Don't meet that woman. Confuse her. Lie for her. Hell, she will tell your husband. I'm not going to go down. Don't tell me. Can you imagine this is Doing all this with you. So this now. People just want to put me in trouble. Just simple assignment will not do but if you collect money to collect me to give you money, you know. Just do this small thing, you cannot even do much. Friend, friend, look at what I saw. What is it? Look at it and see your kid man. It's not your kid man. My kid man? Eh? Dube, my kid man. Oh, come on man, this is not my kid man. Look at what I'm showing you now. Look at the people. My friend, look at the picture. Look at the forehead. I don't see it. Eh? I said, look at the picture. You're looking at me. Look at the man. Look, look. I don't see it. Look at the man. Mark, I'm surprised at you. I mean, I'm surprised you're the one saying this. How can you say this is my gate man, Dubey? Look, no, no, look, look at this picture very well. How can you say this is... How can this be Dubey? This is not my gate man, for crying out loud. Look, yes, there might be some sort of resemblance, yeah? But, come on. This is not my gate man. Okay? I'm, I'm so shocked at you. We all have our look alike, okay? It's a matter of time, you get to see yours, so please. This guy cannot be my dude. Do you know what you're talking about? Do you mean? <laughs> that person has seafood chop with just like that. The, the resemblance is really striking. Mm. This is the same guy I told you that I always saw in a club. This is him. It's Dubem. Mark, can you stop saying it's Dubem? <laughs> this is not Dubem. Yes, they, are, they look alike. But stop saying it's Dubem. This cannot. Do you know what Dubem wore to my house the very day I employed him? One dirty, haggard looking t shirt and one funny tie. <laughs> Where Dubem see money buy all this thing? This, 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 this clothes. Come on, please. Say something as I bet. Stop this track. Look, I have so much to do. Hey! Honey, yes. you know I I had a dream where you gave birth to twins. So. <laughs> Are you serious? I think that would be nice now. Yes, mm. I love it. Oh, that would be so amazing. Uh -huh. They were so adorable and beautiful. You see? Oh, shit. Why would I... they be beautiful? Uh -huh. Am I not pretty? Oh, please. Am I not beautiful? Oh, dear, I'm not handsome. <laughs> You know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. You know what? Um, what? Since you you love them as much as I do. Yes, of okay, course. <laughs> um, we have to get to work. Get to work? I I don't understand. What do you mean by that? We have to get to work right now. Like. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pee. Yes, I'm seriously prepped. I want to pee. Look at it, Wayne. Look at it, Wayne. No, no, no. I know it's that bad. I can't wait. I need to pee, okay? What? 
Okay. Honey, hurry up, please. I'm coming. Good morning, Samson. Good morning, my baby. Good morning, Good morning, my angel. My night was beautiful. I mean, it was very beautiful. Knowing that you stood by my side. <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> wow, it's morning already. Yes. You know, I have, I have a presentation today at the office to make. Oh, really? I'm going to quickly make something for you to eat. Don't no worry, honey. So, don't worry. Huh? No, you have to eat something. I'm coming. No, no change of 90. But what change? <laughs> I mean, as usual, you, you change your 90 every night. Yes, I know. But I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again. I know. Mm-hmm. Embrace the new me. Do you know I never slept in a long time since I entered this house, if not recently? Thank you so much, Auntie Edna. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. I wonder what took me so long in wearing diapers. <laughs> you were scared. Anyway, it's not easy to have such a condition. But I still don't think your husband will send you away if he gets to find out. Auntie Edna, you can't blame me. You can't blame me for being skeptical about this. Because I've lost relationships because of this. Come here. Yeah, I know. You still cannot know how your husband will react if he finds out. But I want to assure you something. Look at me very well. I will always be here to defend you 
by talking to your husband. <laughs> I want you to tell him yourself. I don't want to tell him. I don't want to be the one to bring him in to know him what you're passing through. Because if I do, he won't believe anything I say. Oh. I said, no, I'll try. Just that I don't have the courage. Hey, Anne. Tell him before it's too late. Because it will be disastrous if he finds out himself. Okay. Oh. So how much? One hundred and eighty million. It's all right. No, 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 no. There's no problem. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's called for celebration. Yeah, maybe by tomorrow, just hang out, you know, and celebrate, okay? Oh, yeah. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, you hear from me soon. All right. Yeah. <laughs> My brother. Congratulations! <laughs> A big one at that. Congrats, 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 congrats. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. I'm so happy for you, man. Congrats. I'm so happy, Ben. <laughs> um, the thing is, Fred, this contract is um something I've been working on for past few months now. But um, thank God they just um awarded me the contract. But I would like you to assist me with some money so that I can um sort out with the people that help me um, get the contract okay so um you need money to sort people that gave you the contract <laughs> what sort of contract <laughs> no it's not the people that gave me the contract okay. rather than the people that help me people that help me to do the underground work oh. uh, to, to to secure okay. the contract all right no problem so um how much are we looking at here um, like 20 million naira yeah, but you're not that she made the money. Mm. I will pay you back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have the money from you, you're not paid. Uh, Every million there. Uh, this one is business. business. You understand? Uh, I will surely pay you, I'm serious. Okay. So, um, when is that when you need the money? Um, uh, let me say by weekend. So, um, by Friday, I hope it's really late. No, perfect. All right, fine. Thank you, man. I'll make money available for you by Friday. Oh, thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats. This calls for celebration. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Um, I'm on that thing, Fred. Um, have you made any attempt in investigating your get man, Dubem, regarding all the things I've been telling you about him? Mark, you know, um, in as much as I know you as uh, a very good friend. I mean, you see things and you say them the way they are, but this one, trust me, it's not one of them. Okay? That person is not the baby. <laughs> I mean, come on, my kid man. It's, remember that other day you called me and you said you saw him at the clubhouse? Okay. The baby was standing right in front of me. I said, in my house. So how are you supposed to, I mean, how are you supposed to place that? Is it some sort of uh, Holy Spirit or something? Appearing in two places at the same time. <laughs> Please, I beg, I beg. I beg. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just showing concern. Just wipe that off your, your chest. Let me get you something for us to celebrate today. It's all right. right. <laughs> it's all right. It's just, um... All right. Uh, yeah. Um, for you. And uh, it's for me. Cheers. Cheers to. To more money. More money and more contract. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, man. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. Man.
don't think he's the one, do you? That sounds ridiculous. Even is just an ordinary kid, man. It's nothing to think of. That's exactly what I told my friend, Mark. But I, I don't understand why he doesn't want to accept. I don't understand Mark either. I don't get it. Mark has been to this house several times and saw Dubim at the gate. So what is he trying to say? I wish... I wish I know. I mean, yes, I mean, yes, he looks so much like um, the guy in the magazine. Okay, but come on. I mean, we do have our look-alikes, even though we're not uh, related or connected in any way, but... Exactly my point. We all have our look-alikes. That we haven't met them yet doesn't mean they don't exist. They do. You have, I have, everybody. We have our look-alikes. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to meet your look alike. <laughs> I just can't wait. Really? I, of course, I know it's not possible. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with her? Nothing. Maybe just to ease my curiosity, you know. <laughs> 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 of course, I, I know, I know certainly that God created you just for me. Okay, just one original, no carbon copy, no fake, no duplicate. Why are you always like this? <laughs> Why? You always make me shy, mm. make me blush. Mm. Why are you always like this? Because you're my angel. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. To be, be mindful the way you enter my room. Stop entering my room anyhow you like. Stop it. <clears throat> okay. You've been avoiding me. Why? I've been avoiding you. <laughs> As your wife, girlfriend or what? That should be seen around you all the time. As someone that knows your secret. Mm. As someone that knows you bed wet. Mm. As someone that has refused to cast you in front of your husband and the general public. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, we get doings. On Saturday, so I need one million naira. You need one million naira mm. for doings. Yes. What do you need doings? Even more wins. For what? Why would I give you one million naira? Let me ask. Yes. The play. No, just the play. Mm. Are you giving me the money or not? Why would I give you? Listen, Dubin. I don't want to see you in my room again. The next time I will see you in this room again, you will not only do your doings in the club, you will do that doings inside the police cell. Don't try me. Don't. You're asking me, Dubim, mm. to leave your room. Mm. 